Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and right in front of you, you can see which figure we are taking a look at today. This is definitely a very much so anticipated figure on my part. We have the brand new PNSO Iguanodon. We have a few really good Iguanodon figures out there currently, but I don't think I've ever seen one that can compete or compare to what I see here on this Iguanodon. And it's very strange that you don't see all that many, honestly. Like, there were... You know, some like really good older ones a ways back. But then as time went on, it seems like Iguanodon kind of fell off of the radar. And I absolutely have no idea why, because it's one of the most beautiful species of dinosaur that you will ever see. And it seems as though lately, over the last few years, it's kind of been making a comeback, which I definitely have been enjoying. And finally, PNSO has gone ahead and taken a chance at a fantastic looking version of the Iguanodon and I cannot wait to get this out of the box and take a look at it but as far as the actual box art goes you can see here on the front it is nothing more than just a straight up image of the Iguanodon no gimmicks needed we don't need anything other than just an image showing off how beautiful the figure is and up here on the side if I can get it over it's upside down currently but you can see actually we'll flip it around but you can see that we have again PNSO Dinosaur Museum Harvey the Iguanodon 135th scientific art model and then as we move along the side you can see again dream and vision for children same deal back here on the other side and then some information on PNSO over here on this side and then if we actually flip it up here you can also see again that there is some more information on the underside so let's go ahead pop this box open because I honestly cannot wait anymore to see this figure. So once we open the box we have a really cool envelope in here with a gigantic PNSO logo right there on the front and then we can see here on the back it is sealed with a PNSO logo and we can go ahead and pop that open. I don't know if we're gonna yeah we're gonna break the sticker unfortunately but as we open this up. Wow, there is a ton of stuff in here. Just like with the Mementisaurus release, we have a mountain of stuff included with this Iguanodon release. So if we prop everything up here and we start to see what we've got inside, you can see that we basically have like a really cool story in here, it seems. We start with, obviously... Uh, the Iguanodon, who is the star of the show here as far as this review goes. But as you go through, you have like the discovery of so many different dinosaurs and information about it. Like so much going on here throughout the course of this little, uh, I guess it's like a not even really a book or anything like that. It's just a bunch of little paper cards. But that's really, really neat. Something we're definitely not going to go through entirely but something that would be an absolutely awesome read. I'm very much so looking forward to reading this when the review is over, but something that I definitely feel like uh, is a really cool addition to this set and certainly something that is going to be fun for anybody that purchases this set can go ahead and check that out. And then we have a really nice booklet here. I'm very intrigued to see what we've got going on in here. So as we open it, we see some information on PNSL and then we have uh, some descriptions apparently right here on this page and then the next page sports a beautiful image of the iguanodon look at how beautiful that is really nice artwork and then as we go through i don't know if i skipped the page no no i don't think i did so we start to have some information again on pnso and then as we go to the next page some more information some more information, some more information, lots and lots of stuff again to read. Purchasing one of these museum sets from PNSO really just gives you so much with your order. Like you don't just get an awesome dinosaur model, you get hours of entertainment from these sets. And you can see here on the inside, we have another really nice image of the head sculpt actually of our Iguanodon that we have here to take a look at today, or at least I believe that's who that is. Then we've got some really nice images of the Iguanodon, again, showing off just how beautiful this model is. I really love the paint scheme that they had come up with for this one. Really nice, natural-looking paint scheme. Some more images here, again, of our gorgeous-looking Iguanodon, Harvey. And then some more images, yet again. So this is basically like a beautiful photo gallery of the figure we are about to take a look at and uh, just continuing to hype us up for the figure. I don't know if that's the case throughout the entire booklet. Yeah, it seems like that's probably it. So, oh no, we actually have some more images back here. 
And then an image here showing off lots of really nice PNSO artwork. So definitely a fun booklet that I'm certainly going to dive into a little more thoroughly when I'm done the review. But again, something that would be a fun addition if you order this set. Oh, so we have some more of those blank canvases. I like when they do this. It gives you some blank canvases so you can go ahead and draw yourself some dinosaurs. I don't know how many we have here. Actually quite a bit. So we have a whole bunch of these blank canvases. Are these ones blank? Oh no, these ones are not. Okay, so we've got something different in here. All right, so now I've got to separate the two. So now, oh, okay. So with this one, what we have here is basically a gigantic image of the leg sculpt here of the iguanodon and showing off the thumb bone right there, the fossil of the thumb claw that you can see actually is circled right there. I wonder what the rest of this is going to be. So I went ahead and propped the camera up a bit higher so we can get a better view of this, but you can see the next image here has a really nice megalosaurus, and it also says discovery of megalosaurus. So this kind of actually goes with those little cards that sort of told a story. So I'm thinking that might be how this is going to go. Oh yeah, definitely. So then here it says that we have the discovery of the Archaeopteryx. So I'm certain that these are going to all be discoveries of different dinosaurs because that seems to be how all of those cards went here we've got another again an edmontosaurus that is really really nice that is absolutely gorgeous looking i would love it if pnso would create an edmontosaurus and then release it with that type of a uh, color scheme that would be really cool and then as we go through here again we're going to continue to have probably tons and tons of dinosaurs again a really nice image of an oviraptor and they are definitely at this point proving to me that these are falling in with the discovery of different dinosaurs uh cards that we were just looking at a moment ago and the good thing about this is we get to continue to see incredible artwork from PNSO, which is always awesome. A nice eel raptor right there. That is really nice, man. PNSO's artwork is just some of the best, I think, that you'll ever see anywhere. And then we've got even more. And uh, this time we have the Cynoceropteryx. So well, that's pretty cool. Looks just like the PNSO figure of the species. And then we keep going here. We've got ourselves the Microraptor, which is also, again, the Microraptor released by pnso so maybe these are actually kind of teases for some potential upcoming figures from pnso which is an interesting thing to think about this one again we've got ourselves the boreal apelta which already is a figure from pnso some more gorgeous artwork right there and then we've got what appears to be even larger versions so let's see what we've got in here oh look at this it's super cool actually i'm gonna have to just put that up there and then take a look at it from a little bit further back so we've got a really cool kind of a large poster of the iguanodon right there and then look at that one look at that beautiful beautiful artwork this is definitely the type of artwork that should be framed and displayed proudly on the wall of my collection and i most certainly will be framing that one at some point that is incredible looks just like the figure as well as far as the color scheme sometimes pnso releases like artwork with different color schemes other than what you get on your figure but that matched quite nicely then we've got ourselves a really cool kind of a size comparison type of a chart right here showing off quite a few different dinosaurs and species of other animals as well as a man up there and then we've also got another chart here with some stegosaurus so look at that that's so cool how we have like the vintage versions of stegosaurus like going all the way back to the beginning and then going through time here to see how stegosaurus has evolved wow that's so nice that is another poster that i would love to actually put up on my wall and i most certainly will i would love it if pnso would release posters of every dinosaur that they create in this similar style where we kind of see the evolution of the dinosaur throughout the years that is probably one of my favorite posters i think i've ever seen from pnso oh here we go there's another really cool one in here wow look at that so this time we've got the discovery of the tyrannosaurus rex and look at this really nice what appears to be a juvenile rex here nice fully feathered juvenile rex as well as aaron the baby down here again another frame worthy poster and then this time we've just got in general a gigantic poster of a rex which is also just absolutely drop dead gorgeous wow this stuff is just it's honestly almost so beautiful i don't have words that is incredible yet again to say these posters are breathtaking would be an understatement oh look at this we've got another one of these posters so that's super awesome and actually really intriguing something that i'm picking up on right now 
that I'm quite curious about. But we can see the evolution of the Spinosaurus here as well. But one thing that's really interesting to me is this figure down here will look so much like the PNSO figure they had released quite a ways back, but a little bit different. I wonder if that is another PNSO figure that we will either get at some point, or maybe it was like a prototype of one of the Spinosaurus or something at some point, but that is another super awesome poster right there with the evolution of the Spinosaurus. And then we've also got ourselves another poster. Ooh, look at that. It's the Centosaurus, and that is really nice. Look at the coloration on that crest. Man. These are some of the coolest posters I've ever seen. This, just like with the Mementi source, is overloaded with awesomeness when it comes to these additions that you get. And then we've got ourselves yet another beautiful poster, this time of a U Tyrannus, actually a few U Tyrannus here. Really cool looking color scheme that they had given that one. I kind of wish the U Tyrannus that they had released had a paint scheme similar to that. We've also got some Pterosaurus, which might be the most colorful Pterosaurus I've ever seen. And then the final one that we have here to seal the deal is a Patagotitan. And look at that again. Really beautiful. I wish they'd just stay open when I set them here, just so I can kind of pan back here and show you how beautiful they are. Well, we can kind of get an idea of how beautiful it is. But trust me, it is fantastic as anything artwork-wise from PNSO always is. So on top of our beautiful figure, you just get a mountain of extras here from PNSO. And then we have our main event, which is Harvey the Iguanodon. And wow, what a looker this figure is. Definitely one of my new favorite PNSO figures. No doubt about that. The paint application looks fantastic. The sculpt is incredible. I actually had seen a few posts of people online that were like kind of complaining about the final product of the figure saying that it didn't look that great. Well, in hand, it looks so nice, so much better than any images I had seen online and uh, definitely far surpassing my expectations. So let's go ahead, jump straight to a closer look at this gorgeous Iguanodon right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Iguanodon, you can see straight away that it is just absolutely beautiful. Really nicely sculpted out beak. The detailing within the beak looks incredible. You can see lots of like cracks and crevices in there, painted nicely with a dark brown. The nostrils as well are sculpted nicely, and the scale detail on the face is really nice, looking like quite vibrant. You can see how it pops beautifully on the sculpt. We have some really nice color variation in the face with some dark grays, some lighter grays, as well as some variations of browns. Really nice subtle application of the paint. I love how the brown runs from the beak up through the face down under the eye, like a really, really light subtle amount of that to just give it some nice color variation. You also have the eyes painted nicely with a yellow given a black pupil. They sport a pretty nice looking glossy look, so they shine like real eyes would. It almost actually looks like it kind of has like a light hint of orange mixed with yellow, which is really neat, giving even the eyes some color variation. You can also see how nice the scale detail looks here up on the top of the head, running along the top of the head. You can start to see some ridges picking up here in the middle of the head, some very small ridges, but they obviously increase in size. The further down the body you go, you have some nice skin wrinkles here, even in the throat, showing off the slight turn in the head of the Iguanodon. You can see a little bit of a turn right there. And that movement is shown off quite nicely. Again, you have some nice creasing and wrinkling right there in the neck region. As you move down the course of the neck, you can generally see like some nice structure and some musculature in the neck. Some beautiful stripes start to pick up with a very nice off-white leading down from the top. They kind of squiggle as they come down. And then you can see the further down into the body you get. As you reach the body, you have some more nice wrinkling right there, leading down into the shoulder area of the Iguanodon. The shoulder blade is slightly protruding from the skin. You can definitely see it elaborated, but it's certainly not over-elaborated or anything like that. And the further down into the arm you get, you can see some more really nice muscle definition as well as some incredible skin detail. Lots of nice skin wrinkles and stuff, which PNSO really excels at, I think. Wow, look at the detailing on the back of the elbow. That skin detail is really, really appealing looking. And as you go further down throughout the course of the front arm here, you can see the hand looks great. The nails look very nice as far as the paintwork. You've, of course, got that trademark Iguanodon thumb claw that is the iconic fossil from the Iguanodon that we all know and love. As we move up here, we've got some more wrinkling right there, kind of showing off the movement of that arm. As we move along the course of the side of the stomach, you can see that the texturing to the skin is really fine. You can pick up on the scale detail if we get close. Look at that. 
really vibrant it really pops but you can also see just how fine that scale detail is truly phenomenal looking detail throughout the course of the iguanodon like just look at the really nice like cracks and crevices that have been sculpted out within the skin texture within all of those creases down here and within the scales you can see some really nice cracks and crevices included within the side of the iguanodon and you can also see how those stripes continue to run down the course of the body even like breaking up into stripes throughout the course of the stomach you've got more of those ridges and they clearly have increased in size quite a bit the further we move along the course of the figure and one thing that's really neat about the top it's something that i actually noticed in the promotional images and it is present on this figure is there's a really nice dry brushing they've given it like a dark dry brushing over the course of the top of the figure which is by no means like a strong dry brushing like it's really light but it's definitely there enough that you can take note to the scale detail and how incredibly nice it looks as you get here a little bit further back into the leg you can see the hip bone a little bit as well as some nice muscle definition we have more of those stripes leading down the course of the leg and incredible skin texture again with lots of skin wrinkling and creasing and everything throughout as you move down the course of the leg you get down here into the foot down toward the ankle actually and then down into the foot you've got lots of creasing and everything in the ankle and then a really nice looking foot sculpt with some more beautifully painted nails painted with a brown and they also sport a nice gloss coat so they shine very realistically look at the skin detail wow that is just magnificent and even under here that is insanely beautiful looking skin detail this might be one of the most highly detailed pnso figures i think i've ever seen and then as you move back up toward the tail again lots of creasing lots of movement shown throughout the course of the skin here you can even see leading up here behind the hip you can see more creasing and stuff and then we lead out the length of the tail you've got more of those stripes that actually kind of lead up from the thigh and then run out the course of the tail to make sure that this dinosaur looks super striking but really nice and natural at the same time and you can also see the ridges start to decrease in size a little bit past the hip region but then they kind of vary in size as you lead out the length of the tail before tapering off to some very very small ridges there at the tip of the tail and then if we take a look at the opposing side we can now see that the head sculpt of the iguanodon is facing a little bit further away from us as it has its head turned in the opposite direction but you can also see that the detailing again looks phenomenal it is sculpted with its mouth closed just kind of walking along potentially enjoying its day i feel like the overall appearance to this is so nice that i would love to have like three or four of these iguanodons to just kind of create a really nice herd as they would all then be in that very cool looking walking position it would definitely look awesome and then as you move down the course of the neck you can again see lots of skin wrinkles lots of creasing and everything throughout the course of the neck but at the same time a little bit less over here i think than what we saw on the other side because the neck is stretching the skin a little bit by having that right turn in the head and neck region some more of those stripes again pick up as we move down the course of the figure down here into the body you can see that the arm is picking up on this side so we have some really nice creasing showing over here on this side and again lots of beautiful skin detail as you run down the course of the arm here down into that fantastic looking hand sculpt with the really nicely painted nails again painted with the brown given that beautiful gloss coat so they shine very realistically and again more really nice skin texture look at the wrinkling and everything that's shown in the sculpt and pnso has really done a great job as far as using dry brushing techniques on this like i had mentioned up here but i notice even here on the underside where it transitions really smoothly to a brown on the underbelly you can see again how nice they've dry brushed all of that scale detail out like it really really pops throughout the entire course of the underside of the figure you can see lots more skin wrinkles not only here in the stomach region with this leg pushing into the stomach but also throughout the course of the thigh here again the stripes are really nice and naturally very smoothly applied looking like body color as opposed to paint on a figure you can again see the nice muscle definition here in the thigh as well as the calf moving down the course of the leg you can see the kneecap there in the front of the leg and again a gorgeous looking foot sculpt with some more really nicely and very precisely painted nails and then we move up here and again i absolutely love this area because you can really see how many 
uh, creases and wrinkles they've created in that area, but also how nicely they've dry brushed that detail out so it really pops. It does exactly what it's meant to do. Every time I see it, it just draws me in because of that really nice paintwork. And I love that they've even included like some variations of browns, very subtle variations of browns added to certain spots to just create more really nice skin tone throughout the course of the figure. And again, we lead up here into the tail. You can see the skin stretching very nicely off of the tail with this leg pulling forward. And then we have that absolutely gorgeous looking iguanodon tail as we lead out the length of the tail. You can see a nice curve, a little curve, nothing drastic, just a slight curve there toward the end of the tail. I also like that they've even dry brushed out the detailing over top of the stripes so that you can see like some light hints of like grays over top of the stripes. And then the underside again looks incredible. Look at how nice that detail is brought out. And there's many different tones of colors. We have like browns and off whites as well as variations of grays here throughout the underside. You've got the cloaca sculpted out there. And I don't know that I've ever seen a more realistic looking cloaca on a dinosaur model. And you can see as we run through the course of the figure, the detailing is honestly as jaw dropping as it gets. So this is easily the best iguanodon I have in my collection and definitely one of my favorite PNSO figures I think of all time. As far as a size goes for our iguanodon for a length, you're looking at about 11 inches pretty much on the dot or about 28 centimeters. And then for a height to the top of the head about three and a half inches or nine centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our PNSO Iguanodon, showing you that the figure definitely sports a pretty good size, pretty impressive size overall. Nothing super huge or anything. I would say probably like a mid-sized figure, but as far as an Iguanodon goes, I feel like the size is probably perfect. And then for a few extra comparisons, here are some PNSO figures in comparison to the Iguanodon. So we've got, first of all, the Olera Titan from PNSO, showing you that the figure, of course, is a bit taller, but the Iguanodon definitely is longer, but pretty nicely sized in comparison to each other. We've also got one here that's going to definitely outsize the Iguanodon quite drastically, which would be the newer Mementisaurus from PNSO here. You can see how that one sizes up next to the Iguanodon. Also, you know, pretty good size in comparison to each other, but obviously in no way, shape, or form are they to scale with each other. As far as another one goes, we've got the Nano Tyrannus, if it can stand here for me for a moment, because I just threw it in here kind of abruptly. So there's the Nano Tyrannus in comparison to our Iguanodon, showing you again roughly what the size there would be. We also have, and I probably should turn the Iguanodon around for this one, but we've got Wilson now in comparison to the Iguanodon, giving you a good idea of how those two size up in comparison to each other. Wilson definitely looks like he's pretty much right at the perfect height to take that Iguanodon down by its neck right there. And then we should probably turn the figure around again for this comparison, but we also have the Carcharodontosaurus from PNSO in comparison to the Iguanodon, looking like he's about to give him a nice little kiss right there on his beak, but hopefully these figures now in comparison will help to show you the size. And then for one other comparison that I'm very intrigued to see here in comparison to the PNSO Iguanodon, actually I will just turn it like this, I think, but we have the Collect A Iguanodon next to the PNSO version, and it's actually really quite crazy because when you look at these two figures together, like prior to this PNSO version, I'm actually going to turn them around, I think, but prior to the PNSO version, I would have personally said that the Collect A version was probably like the best Iguanodon that I can think of currently on the market, at least in my collection. Now, in comparison to this PNSO version, the Collect A version almost looks like a cheap toy because the overall quality in comparison to each other is just so different. Like the Collect A version, you know, it's got a really nice sculpt and all of that fun stuff, but I just feel like as far as realism and what you would expect to see on a living, breathing iguanodon, the PNSO version is as top-notch as it honestly gets and just in general is a more appealing looking version. So the PNSO version has officially become the best Iguanodon in my collection, no questions asked, and definitely, again, one of the most striking models I think they've ever released. And for another comparison, here is the PNSO Iguanodon in comparison to the Papo Iguanodon, and 
just like with the Collect A version, I feel like the PNSO version is far nicer looking than the Papo version. The Papo version, although decent, in my opinion, doesn't quite match up to what we have here from PNSO. Although they are pretty close in size, I can definitely say that much. They'd make a pretty cool pair of Iguanodon, but again, the PNSO version, in my opinion, wins this round. So this brand new PNSO Harvey the Iguanodon is an incredible figure and easily one of my favorite all-time PNSOs. There's no doubt about it. I'm a huge fan of Iguanodon. I always have been. Ever since I was a kid, I've just always been so drawn to Iguanodon. Since pretty much I had seen the Crystal Palace sculptures, I've just always really been a big fan of Iguanodon. Stemming from those days, stemming from my childhood, discovering the Crystal Palace statues. And that follows through now to me as an adult and an avid dinosaur figure collector. I'm a huge fan of Iguanodon and it's such a travesty that there aren't many figures out there of the species. Like we get a fair share, but not as many as I feel like there should be because it's a very popular species. It's been an iconic species of dinosaur for a very long time. Again, the fact that there are so few out there as far as figures go is just crazy to me. And on top of that, the fact that there are so few good Iguanodon figures is even crazier. And I personally feel like this Iguanodon is far superior than any other Iguanodon out there on the market currently. Like, it's better than the Collect Day. It's better than the Papo. It's just better in general than any other Iguanodon I can think of. The sculpt of this is just fantastic with a really nice peaceful walking pose for the figure. Really natural and really relaxing version of an iguanodon as far as the peaceful nature of the appearance of it and on top of that the detailing is insane on this figure like there is just detail for days the skin detail of this iguanodon figure might be some of the best i've ever seen on a figure of any kind the skin detail is just unbelievable and the detail on top of that is really quite vibrant throughout the entire sculpt and then if you combine that the very impressive highly detailed nature of the sculpt with the incredibly nice paintwork which is really appealing to me like I personally love the paint scheme it's almost kind of walking with dinosaurs like but they've also done a great job of giving this a super lifelike super naturalistic appearance without using tons and tons of color variation like we mostly have just like a tone of gray brown and like an off-white for the majority of the figure there might be some other light hints of colors included but they have used those colors so intelligently when it comes to the way that they've painted this that it really looks like a real living breathing animal and 100% looks like it is the coloration of this dinosaur like I honestly think I'd be let down now if I ever saw an iguanodon and it didn't look like this because it really does look like this is the color of the dinosaur. PNSO has nailed it as far as this figure goes. They've delivered an incredible amount of awesome extras and one unbelievably beautiful Iguanodon figure here in one set. So if you are interested in this, make sure you check the link in the description as I will include a link to this Iguanodon on both the PNSO Amazon store and the PNSO AliExpress store. So one way or another, I highly recommend you heading over to those websites through the links in the description and picking up this Iguanodon from one of those two places. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.